guys, it's Risa. How you doing? I want to start off by, of course, thanking you guys for subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell so you'll get all my new recipes by email. And remember that all my recipes are written under each video. So hopefully I don't forget any ingredients. I have a tendency to do that sometimes. Shh, don't tell anybody. And uh, continue to tell your WW peeps or anybody that loves healthy recipes, okay? So what are we making today? Oh my God, I'm so excited. My husband and I and my daughter love chicken pot pie, but we don't like all those calories um, when you buy it in the store. And of course, in the restaurant, they're super delicious and very rich um, in terms of taste, but we're gonna have it rich in taste, but without all the fat and all the calories, okay? I mean, there'll be some. So we're gonna. Sh I'm gonna show you my two ingredient dough. You can check my um, video out because I'm not gonna do the whole thing. Otherwise, I'm gonna be here forever. So I'm gonna show you my two ingredient dough and what I did. So you can check it out on my video again. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I'm making one that's smaller. Okay, I'm making an eight by eight, and you can double this recipe for sure. Okay. And um, spray your eight by eight pan, all right? That's what I've done so far. The other thing that I've done is I've made the topping um, so that I could just let it rest um, before we make the really simple pot pie ingredients that go inside that is super, super delicious and lots of flavor, okay? So for the topping, um, it's only gonna be six smart points, half a cup of, uh, Brody self-rising flour, or you can make it on your own, okay? Um, so half a cup is six smart points, and a half a cup of zero um, plain Greek yogurt, zero fat, that is, okay? And you mix it together, and of course, um, I like to add some stuff, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic. I buy the Clubhouse and the Great Value. Um, I added just a smidge of some clubhouse um, roasted garlic and pepper seasoning. I like flavor. And um, and just a pinch of Italian seasoning and some um, salt and pepper, okay? And basically, you roll it out and you add um, a little bit of flour to your counter and I have it ready. And I just took an egg for some egg wash for afterwards. So that's it. To get the whole recipe, check my video out for my two ingredient pizza crust, okay? But you can use this for other things as well. Okay, so what do we need for the pot pie? Let's get started. Um, what I've done is I took a Vidalia onion. I buy these big bags at Costco or Walmart or anywhere. And I just cut it up with one tin of mushrooms. You want to use fresh mushrooms. This is just easy and fast. Okay, so this is just one tin, 10 ounces, 284 mils. And I just have it on a low heat and I've just sauteed that. Okay, easy so far. I bought the chicken at Costco. These chicken breasts, just make it easy on yourself. If you want, you can um, roast your chicken, use a barbecue chicken, and I used two cups. So this is what it looks like that I bought from Costco. And it's the fresh, fresh additions, any kind is fine. Um, and I just cut it up into little pieces, two cups. You want less, you can add less, okay? That's it. I'm using a quarter cup of some chicken broth. We might add a little bit more, so it depends how thick or thin you want it. I like it a little bit thicker, the gravy part, okay? So you can decide, we're gonna decide together. Um, of course, a little bit of pepper and some salt. And I've taken a medium, well, actually a small potato, which is two smart points, and I cut it up into little tiny pieces, okay? And I microwaved it just to get it a little soft, okay? And um, that's it. 
All right, peel it, cut it up, microwave it for a couple of minutes. And I'm using um, two cups of some frozen veggies, all right? So whatever you like, this has carrots, it has peas, corn, and some green beans. So you decide, um, again, you don't want so much, use a little bit less. Um, two cloves of some minced garlic that I've already have right here too. Um, just like a pinch of some fresh parsley. And I put in, I'm going to put in a little bit of fresh rosemary, if you can see it. I love the, the smell of rosemary. Um, you don't, you're not a fan. Mm, it's so good. So like maybe a teaspoon or so, start off with a little bit, taste it if you don't like rosemary. Um, and also just a little bit of some thyme, probably about a quarter teaspoon or so, maybe a little bit more. Um, and if you're using dry, um, less, okay? Just use a little bit less, like a pinch or so, just for some flavor. And of course, I'm gonna put in a smidge of some Frank's hot sauce, probably about um, a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon or so, and a little bit of Worcestershire. So let's get started here. So I have the um, onions and the mushrooms cooking. And I'm gonna add my chicken, and add my potatoes. I love things that are easy. I'm gonna add my veggies all in one pot, my garlic, and my rosemary and thyme. I'm gonna make sure I put in my salt and pepper. just to bring out some flavor. It would help if I had a spoon, just to mix it all up. Doesn't that look pretty? And that's your filling. Add the fresh parsley. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of my Frank's hot sauce, because I love that. Um, you don't like hot sauce, you don't have to add it. You, again, my recipes are versatile. So you don't want to add it. You don't have to. You can do it how you like it. If you want other vegetables, um, other spices in it, you can do that, people. You know that. You don't want to use fresh garlic. You want to use powder or some onion powder, a little bit of Worcester, about a quarter teaspoon, And I'm going to add my quarter of a cup of, did I mention, chicken broth. And again, we might add more. We'll see. And now, um, the cream of chicken soup, I found it's a low-fat reduced, okay? It's five smart points for this, all right? Five smart points. So six and five is 11. 13 points about for the whole recipe, really low. So it's gonna be about four smart points per um, serving because it's gonna be about four servings, all right? So let's add our soup and uh, let me make sure I can get it out. I'm gonna get a spoon. Some people make a um, roux and that's an option too with just some milk and some flour and you can do that as well this is just really easy and it has a lot of flavor the other one um, sometimes I use is cream of mushroom I have it ready just in case I thought maybe I wanted to add some more um, soup to it okay but we'll see and this one the great value is only two smart points so you can have that or add that okay so I'm just adding this together and I'm going to bring it over. It looks super rich and thick. Ah, of course, I dropped some. All right. Mmm, and it smells good. Okay. I think I, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Of course, I, you know, I mean, everything in here is pretty well cooked. So. Hmm. That is delicious and spicy. 
I'm not going to add any more soup to it. Um, I want it a little bit thicker. The juices from the vegetables will come out. So I'm just going to add that. Turn off my oven. Put it to put it in my pan. Get all this goodness, people. Okay, so here it is. And now we're gonna put the topping on, okay? So let's move all this out of the way. And I'm gonna use my spatula to lift it. Wish me luck. So always go around the edges first to make sure that you can lift it and you don't break it. And we'll get it on really quickly. Da, 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 da. Are you impressed? All right. So perfect amount. Okay. And we'll just take some egg wash. Hope you can see, just want to make sure you see, put some egg wash on top and it'll get nice and brown. You're going to bake it for at least 30 minutes until like everything else is pretty much cooked. So you just want the top to get nice and brown and crispy. And that's basically it. We're going to take a knife. I know I had one here. And we're just going to make some slices in it, okay, just so it doesn't pop. So I'm just putting some nice slices, okay? I mean, you can prick a few holes if you want. And if you want to make it look prettier, you can also take a fork. I'm just looking for my fork. And you can just go around it to make it look a little bit more presentable. There. Okay, we're going to stick it in the oven and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, see you soon. Hey guys, I'm back and here it is. How does that look? Looks pretty good, huh? So I baked it at 350 for about 35 minutes. Depending on your oven, you want it a little bit crispier. Um, you can leave it in a little bit longer. And remember, um, whatever you want to use inside in terms of spices, you can do that, okay? So again, it's going to be about four smart points. I've cut it up into four slices and I'm going to take it out. I better get a Oh, I have a fork here and I'm just going to take it out. I'm going to put it in my bowl and it's delicious. Um, I'll just show you how it looks. There it is. Okay, that's how it looks inside. And I'm going to have it with some veggies on the side. Um, I think you're going to really enjoy this for four smart points. It's filling, high protein, nutritious, and delicious. Okay, continue to subscribe and visit me on my Facebook page, Weight Watchers Tips and Recipes by Risa. And my Instagram, Risa's Piece 8. That's me. Bye for now. Enjoy.